Right now, we are witnessing the greatest and most important flashback in the entire history of One Piece. God Valley was first introduced nearly four years ago, and ever since then, small details have been revealed along the way. A lot of significant details will take place at God Valley. Kuma's past will be revealed, we will see a baby Shanks, Figurlin's true strength, and all the most powerful characters of that era, Roger, Whitebeard, Garp, and most importantly, Rox D. Zebek. Apart from these incredible revelations at God Valley, there appears to be an immense amount of treasure on this island. As mentioned in chapter 1095, celestial dragons occupy an unaffiliated island every three years and then target and hunt down every single civilian present on the island. This competition determines the champion, the one who manages to hunt down all the civilians. We also saw six boxes at God Valley, and there is a high chance that these boxes contain devil fruits. Luffy acquired his Gomu Gomu no Mi from such a treasure box as well. Since this event occurs every three years, it is likely common knowledge. Even Don Flamingo, who was only one year old when the God Valley incident occurred, did something similar at Dressrosa. He possesses a wealth of knowledge about the Celestial Dragons and is even aware of their secret treasure. He organized the Corrida Coliseum Battle Arena, where the winner would receive the Mera Mera no Mi Devil Fruit. Perhaps he drew inspiration from the games held by the Celestial Dragons, where a Devil Fruit might occasionally be offered as a prize. While there can be many rewards that the Celestial Dragons might give for hunting down the population of a country, Devil Fruits are considered the grandest of all. Devil Fruits themselves are known as treasures of the sea. The fact that they are believed to be incredibly expensive and rare highlights their suitability as rewards for winning a competition like this, and we all know that Celestial Dragons have a lot of money. We don't know why the Rocks Pirates were at God Valley. There could be many reasons. To save slaves, to kill Celestial Dragons, or simply to loot the prizes of the tournament. Even if they did not come solely for the Devil Fruits, it's likely that they acquired some of them. It has already been confirmed that Big Mom gave Kaido the Uo Uo no Mi, a mythical Zoan type devil fruit at God Valley, so after this information, the possibility that those boxes contain devil fruits are even higher. What about the other five? I believe Kuma acquired one of these devil fruits. The Nikyu Nikyu no Mi is one of the strongest devil fruits in One Piece. 38 years ago, Dragon was not a revolutionary yet, so we don't know who saved Kuma and Ivankov. We know that Kuma was a slave. What if he was forced by the Celestial Dragons to eat the Nikyu Nikyu no Mi? We've seen this happen many times, as with Boa Hancock, for example. There's a high chance that Kuma escaped with his friends thanks to his new devil fruit. Another good option is Whitebeard. We don't know when Whitebeard ate his devil fruit, but when he was a member of the Rocks Pirates, Roger's biggest rival was Rox D. Zebek. However, after God Valley, Roger's opponent became Whitebeard. There were other strong characters, and of course, Whitebeard is strong even without his devil fruit. But it seems to be that he underwent some kind of power-up after Zebek's death and the God Valley incident. I believe he ate the Gura Gura no Mi, the strongest Paramecia devil fruit at God Valley, and became even stronger. Stronger. Big Mom already ate a devil fruit by that time. I am also sure that Rox D. Zebek did not eat one at God Valley, even if he had no devil fruit earlier because he died there, and it would make no sense to show him eating and using a devil fruit for only a few hours or days. Most likely Shiki also ate his Fuwa Fuwa no Mi at this island. The next option is, of course, Figurland Garling. Figurland Garling is probably one of the strongest characters in One Piece right now. Garling was a champion on God Valley. He could even fight and damage Prime Whitebeard. When Shanks and Whitebeard met in Chapter 434, Whitebeard mentioned that the wound he got from that guy aches whenever he looks at Shanks' face, and we saw in this chapter that Shanks looks a lot like young Garling. I believe that he ate a devil fruit at God Valley as well. When we look at some One Piece characters, it's clear that they are devil fruit users. For example, Brook. Treble, Gecko Moria, Tamago, Buffalo, and more. Non-Devil Fruit users, especially swordsmen like Mihawk, Vista, Zoro, and Shanks, look more human. Young Garling looked more human as well, but now Garling's appearance makes me think that he is a Devil Fruit user. When the God's Knights were revealed, there was a Devil Fruit pattern in the background, so all of them may be Devil Fruit users. Another reason for this is the fact that when Roger and Rayleigh found Shanks, he was in a treasure box. I think Garling ate a Devil Fruit and later put Shanks in that 
that chest to protect him, but after the war, he lost the chest and it was found by Rogers pirates, and he was named Akagami Shanks. But what is his real name? Oda puts a lot of thought into the way he names his characters, especially Shanks. It's also clear that, at times, names of family members can sound alike. Usopp and Yasop, Spandam and Spandine. Figurlin being tied to the moon is interesting, especially when you look at Garling's hair and mustache, but I have another idea. Garland is a decorative braid, knot, or wreath of flowers, leaves, or other materials worn on the head or around the neck. In some cultures, garlands are worn by winners of competitions. This fits Garling's status as the champion of God Valley. So when we think of Shanks' name, could it be related to Garland's? Of course. The name Garling actually looks a lot like garlic, and you can make garlands out of garlic. Figure than garlic? It sounds funny, but remember, Oda loves to name his characters after random things, including food. Iceberg, short for iceberg lettuce, Khalifa, short for cauliflower, carrot, Odin, and now garlic. This actually fits into Shanks' personal lore. His rival's name, after all, is Dracul Mihawk, a name inspired by Dracula. What do you use when fighting Dracula or vampires in general? Garlic. Usopp already wore a garland of garlic at Thriller Bank. This might also give us an alternative explanation for Garling's odd hair and mustache combination. That's not the moon. It's a garlic clove. Also, it doesn't have to sound silly. Garlic in Japanese can be read as Garrick. So perhaps Shanks was supposed to be called Saint Figurlin Garrick. Now back to Devil Fruits. Only one of the six chests is left, and there are three options. One of them is Ivankov and his Horror Horror no Mi, but it's less likely because this fruit is not as strong as the others mentioned in this video. The next option is Yamato and the Inu Inu no Mi. We know that Kaido gave him this devil fruit years later. The third option is Dragon's Rain God Devil Fruit. We saw Ivankov and Kuma, so I am sure Dragon was there too, but he was not a revolutionary at the time. He was a marine and a strong one. He ate this legendary devil fruit, saw everything with his own eyes, started to hate the celestial dragons, and quit the marines. Years later, he started to gather an army for the revolution, including Kuma and Ivankov. I also want to talk about one more idea. Those chests look a lot like where Luffy got his fruit. Maybe they were trying to start the game again after being delayed for years because of the fight that happened there, and Nika was the biggest prize. Shanks tried to stop them from starting those games again by stealing the biggest prize guarded by Who's Who. There is a high chance that he also knew the real power of the Gomu Gomu no Mi, so he accomplished two things with one action. For now, my biggest question is why Roger was at God Valley. If the Rocks Pirates wanted to obtain Devil Fruits, we know for sure that Roger did not go there for that reason. I hope the answers will be revealed soon. Also, as I mentioned, Figurlin Garling is one of the most important characters of this arc and not only in this arc. Now, he is the leader of the Holy Knights. If you want to find out who will fight Garling in the end, you can watch this video right here. Thanks for watching.